Israel-Iran War News Live Update Erdogan calls on Muslims to unite to oppose Israel's Gaza invasion. Erdogan blasted Western democracy for backing Israel's interests, despite its horrors in Gaza during a Turkish diaspora conference in Ankara on Thursday Ankara. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has urged the Muslim world to unite to oppose Israel's Gaza Strip onslaught and assure UN compliance. On Thursday, May 2, he called Gambian President Adama Barrow and made the remarks. RAD Iran sanctions US, UK for Israel backing. They discussed Israeli airstrikes on Palestine and the 15th Islamic Summit in Gambia. During the call, Erdogan accuses Western democracies of aiding Israel. Erdogan blasted Western democracy for backing Israel's interests, despite its horrors in Gaza during a Turkish diaspora conference in Ankara on Thursday. On X, Turkey's communications directorate reported that he claimed the current Israeli attacks have killed only 35,000 Palestinians. Western rulers have lectured us on democracy and freedom for years, but their hypocritical attitudes on Gaza killings are concerning. The Israeli atrocity against our Gazan brethren has always been a priority. We stand resolute, despite global Zionist lobby pressure, he stated. Erdogan supports U.S. university pro-Palestinian marches, but condemns violence, torture, and lynch mobs. He thinks Western democracy helps Israel by suppressing protesters. Israel has started a deadly invasion on Gaza after a Hamas attack on October 7, 2023 killed approximately 1,200 people since then, over 34,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children, have died and 77,000 injured Iranian sanctions on U.S. UK for aiding Israeli crimes against Saudi Arabian residents have increased social media criticism of Israel in recent months due to its military offensive on Gaza. Bloomberg said that one detained was a Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman economic development executive involved in Vision 2030. Another reportedly pushed Saudis to boycott American brands in the Gulf state and a media character who never forgave Israel. Concerns regarding pro-Iranian threats to Saudi security prompted the arrests, according to a source close to the government. The number of persons imprisoned since October 7, 2023, for criticizing Israel in Gaza, is unknown. The U.S. is trying to normalize relations between Riyadh and Israel during this crackdown. On a recent visit to the Gulf state, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said vigorous negotiations over the past week have gotten the parties potentially very near to completion. Saudi Arabia has frequently stated that it will not establish diplomatic relations with Israel until a Palestinian state is in place. Since October 7, Israel has killed 34,500 Palestinian men, women, and children and wounded over 77,000, according to Wafa News Agency. The UN reports that the Israeli offensive has displaced 85% of Gaza's population, damaged or destroyed 60% of its civilian infrastructure, and caused severe food, water, and medication shortages. International Court of Justice accuses Israel of genocide. An interim world court verdict in January ordered Tel Aviv to stop genocidal activities and ensure Gazan residents get humanitarian aid. After taking the apartheid state to the ICJ, South Africa warned that Israel is defying the verdict. Israel rejects all accusations.